Howdy folks. This is Hacker Monday, or wow, we do different crazy jobs. There are crazy things on Mondays around here. The This probably won't get released until Tuesday because uh, there is some filming delay issues involved with the topic, I guess, but thought we would burn something. And I had something like a question that was in my mind, and I thought, you know, there's only one way to answer this thing. Just do something with it, and we'll see what happens. In this case, uh, we have these new engravers and lasers that cut plywood and things. And I got thinking about some of the lasers. I have several of them sitting here right now, including the uh, Longer Array 5, which I believe is still on for a special deal for, was it 309 or something? I'll provide a link in the description below, like I always do. And I was thinking, how deep does a laser cut before you have to adjust the laser head and bring it down further? Or can you just cut, you know, well, it just keep cutting through until, you know, you've cut three quarters of an inch of plywood or whatever. And I had looked around and some people were saying, you know, it'll cut up to a quarter inch plywood. Other people have told me it'll cut up to three quarter inch plywood. So I was thinking, well, why not design something really simple like a circle and just cut the circle with the laser, but send it on a cycle where it just keeps cutting and going around and around. And after 20 cycles, 50 cycles, 100 cycles, you know, what does this thing cut to before it's basically, it's done, it won't go any further. I'm not sure what the answer is to that. So I thought, we should set something up with a hunk of wood and just start cutting through and uh, different, different cycles and see how far a laser will cut. Yeah, uh, there is a, some degree of, uh, I guess, old school here where you just get the saw and you can cut whatever you know size you want but what we're doing is of course a laser and I'm curious about what that laser will cut through so the only way we'd find out is let's set up a test and like I said cut a circle a piece of plywood I'll get some thick plywood and we'll just see how far down that thing will cut cool that idea or at least a, a benchmark area to start with it's a five watt laser it's running at hundred percent power it's running at only a thousand uh, millimeters per uh, second I believe that rating is on that yeah or per per minute okay so it's running at one sixth the normal speed so it's really getting hot and that laser is running around very slowly and it's cutting through the whole project here is to see how deep will that laser cut okay so what we're doing now is we're cutting uh, 100 cycles at a thousand millimeters per minute, which is very slow, and we're at a hundred percent power on a five watt laser with the longer Ray 5 machine here. And the idea is just to see how much cut we get out of this laser at this point without adjusting. See, the focal point of the laser, if I bring the adjustment down a little bit, I can cut deeper. So I thought rather than just you know do that, there we go. Uh, let's see how far into this wood we can cut. And I can tell you right now, yeah, that was uh, that was it right there. She will easily cut right through. And this was uh, this is quarter inch. The board I'm using, I borrowed it. It doesn't belong with the longer at all. But it came in. Uh, it was with another company's uh, uh, product. And I thought, why not? We'll just we'll just borrow it for this talk for, the, for this project. So that's 100 cycles that I just used. I just, uh, you know, I tried 50, it didn't seem to work, so we went to 100 cycles and it easily more than, you know, did a nice job on cutting me a little uh, cookie out of my quarter inch plywood here. Okay, so this time we're doing the same method, uh, 100 cycles, 100% laser, or 100% power of the laser, at a thousand uh, millimeters per minute speed cut. We could probably even slow that down a little more if we wanted to, but I'm going to do that and this is three quarter inch piece of plywood and again I want to see how deep the laser actually penetrates at say a hundred cycles. We might even go higher. I'm, we might, uh, after this test, maybe we'll do 200 cycles or something like that. Just curious as to how deep does that laser actually cut. Because it cut the quarter inch plywood, so yeah, wow. So what I've got here is the quarter inch plywood that was cut out and it made a nice little hole through the quarter inch plywood. But the circle that we made on a three quarter inch board, this is 100 cycles at 100% and there's the depth. It's about a quarter of an inch so we sort of have a benchmark at that point as far as that goes. But 
What if I keep the laser going and say, eh, let's go 500, 500 cycles. Okay, for this next test, we're gonna go with uh, 500 cycles at 100%. We'll just see how far down that laser will go. So the results are in. Yeah, uh, here's the thing. I can cut a quarter of an inch piece of plywood uh, reasonably easily with less than 100 cycles of going around 100 times, whatever to cut. But it will cut a quarter of an inch and do a nice job. Uh, when we tried the 500 cycle on 3 quarters of an inch board and we just let it run and run and run at 100%, we got down to almost three eighths of an inch. Technically, I'm gonna say it'll cut quarter. After that, it's, uh, we're running into, I guess what I like to call or refer to as uh, the stupid zone because you know, you're just wasting a lot of time to try to get through. Now granted, a laser uh, cutting something out can do a tremendous amount of work and a beautiful pattern and you can get lots of good things. So I'm not saying anything negative that way, okay? You just, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's a bad idea, but at 500 cycles to get, say, three eighths of an inch or something, I would just go cut something with a bandsaw or something. I, you know, this would be just, it's just not working. You know, it's too much uh, involved, too much time, too much power, and the results are just not there, you know? But the, uh, again, if you bring the laser head down and cut again, now maybe another 50 to 100 cycles, and you just kept doing that, you could get through a three-quarter inch piece of board. Yeah, yeah, you could. And again, it's only a five-watt laser. A 20-watt laser might do a lot, lot different. And in fact, I'll tell you guys what: when we get a 20-watt laser in here, uh, unfortunately we've had them, but I don't have one right now. But I've got one, I think, coming in. We might try the whole process over again and see what a more powerful laser and see what the difference is in that in that respect because this is like I say only a five watt so she'll cut up to quarter inch plywood uh, which is cool it'll do a lot of other beautiful things the engraving on the laser is just absolutely amazing in fact it's so accurate and it, it's just it just amazes me every time I see a, a job when it's finished come off it's like wow you know this is really nice the bottom line the bottom line is you know uh, without regard to cycles and time and whatever you could theoretically get up to about three eighths of an inch. Again, without just adjusting the laser head or anything, just keep cutting away with the laser until you get it. So that's that's kind of cool. So just it was an answer I didn't I didn't know the answer when we started this project, but I sure do know exactly what it'll do now. Later this week, uh, Thursday, we have a fantastic draw coming up for some uh, some bucket handles that attach to uh, Home Depot or well, Lowe's buckets. I think specifically was what they were designed for, but also they'll any of the buckets. The, it'll, they'll also hook to a two gallon, a three gallon bucket. I forgot to mention that I think, but I was thinking five gallon buckets are really what we're after when we're looking for handles like that. Last Thursday, we did the, we did the start for draw. And this Thursday, of course, we have another draw coming up for some pretty cool stuff. But uh, I want to do this laser thing and I've been sort of playing around with the idea of you know, how deep will one of these things cut or how much material. And I thought plywood was a good choice to because most of us like to uh, cut projects up and plywood's a good project type build. I had thought about pine or cedar or something crazy, but it was like, nah, you know, the, let's just do straight plywood and find out how deep will the laser go. Well, five watt laser, it looks like if you overdo it, <laughs> like I did, you can get three eighths and that's all you're gonna get. After that, you're gonna be spending days getting nothing more, so yeah. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Adios.